Uh, what's up guys, Fairy Tale chapter 483 of the 7 stars, um, really excited for this chapter because hopefully, um, I mean assuming it looks like we're going to get more um, backstory into Urza, um, just getting to see what we are assuming to be her mother, um, I mean obviously it's got to be her mom, so um, yeah, I'm just really excited because despite all the bullshit with Urza, she's still one of my favorite characters, so... And I never would have imagined that we would have... After the Tower of Heaven arc, I never would have imagined that we were going to get, like, even more into her character. Um, so that has me pretty excited. Um, I just... I wanted to bring something up because I've been thinking about it recently. Um, so you guys know, uh, the movie that's... The new movie that's coming out, Captain America Civil War... So, um, this picture, like, just came out, like, I don't know, maybe, like, a week ago. Um, I don't know if it was Mashima that actually drew it, but you have, like, Team Natsu and Team Grey over there. And I was thinking, Mashima could actually make a small arc out of this. Or just so, some kind of, like, small little plot line within this Alvarez Empire arc. Because I'm thinking... When Natsu does eventually tell the guild that he is END, um, I'm thinking there could be actual civil war that comes out from that because I know Grey is definitely going to be against the fact that he is a fucking demon. And I feel like it's just a natural fucking, you know, like, situation that there is going to be both two sides to it. There's going to be people like Grey who are against the fact that, you know, Fairy Tail has a demon in their guild. And then there's gonna be people like Lucy, obviously, who's gonna be like, no, that's the same Nazi that we know and love and stuff like that. So, I, I like, for that to be an arc, I think would be fucking amazing. Like, an actual Fairy Tail Civil War, having people on who are sided with Natsu, who still think, you know, he's still the same Nazi that they know and love, and that people who are with Grey who think, you know, he's a demon and he needs to be fucking killed. I think that would be amazing if that was an arc. Um, so just an idea that I was thinking about. Um, I would love it if that happened, but I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. Alright, so Urza, stay with us, I beg of you. Urza, that woman, it cannot be. Lady Eileen's? Here and now I shall commit just one more sin. Jalal. Dude, he's gonna commit a fucking sin. Um, what? What the hell is this magic? The sky, it's... Oh, shit, Jalal. Oh, what is, what is it this time? It's Jalal's magic. Merity, Juvia, form a link with me. Magulity sense. If two who believe in each other unwaveringly share a sensory link, their power will be ampl amplified many times over. I see you've come up with quite the wonderful spell. From the very start, this was the true purpose of this magic. <sighs> Don't you guys fucking hate when you click on a fucking ad? It's literally the worst fucking thing, especially when you're trying to do a live reaction. Um, but fuck it, man. <laughs> this is a live reaction, so shit is gonna go wrong. Um, okay. Grey and Leon. It feels strangely chilly all of a sudden, don't you think? That must be because Grey and Leon are fighting over there. The enemy's forces have thinned considerably. We just need one more push. I just want to say, like, Sabretooth, how the fuck did you guys get annihilated and those three mermaid heel girls are still fighting? Like, come on, guys. Um, Ice Geyser. Ice Volcano. Okay. Yeah, people seem to forget, but, like, because it's been a while since we've seen Orr, but Orr was actually pretty fucking strong, dude. Uh, we don't stand a chance. Orr is simply too powerful. That ain't Orr, damn it. Orr is dead, and her death falls solely on my shoulders, and you damn well know that. <clears throat> um, you've had many invaluable experiences as you walked along your path, haven't you? This journey you've been on until now, you walked it for the sole purpose of surpassing Orr, and you've come a long way. And you got Doriate, uh, Deloria, De Deloria, right? Uh, God damn it, like, I feel like I just said his name, but, like, now I'm fucking saying it wrong, for sure. 
I feel like it is Delor De Deliora. Fucking shit, dude. There we go. Um, yeah, De Deliora, Doriate. Yeah, old tier there, silver. And then that Natsu flashback um, was probably when Gray was going to use Ice Shell for the first time. Uh, that's what I think it is. Uh, that path for me has always been obstructed. In that case, the beginning of the road is right here in front of you. It's true I've come a long way, but I didn't get this far by stumbling aimlessly around. I knew in my heart that I had no choice but to keep moving forward, and that's why I'm standing here. Yeah, it's kind of... It's really cool just to see how far Gray has come because I feel like early on in the series he like sure he was one of the strongest members um but he still wasn't all that strong. It wasn't until Tartarus that I feel like that I personally took him serious that I started putting him in the same class as Urza and Loxus and Natsu and Godzilla and all of them. Um yeah, it was it definitely wasn't until Tartarus that I put him in the same class as all of them. Uh, now's the time for your first step, Leon. You too, taking me down? Not in a million years. <laughs> yeah, but he's definitely developed and come a long way. He's probably the most devel developed character in Fairy Tale. Um, I don't speak English that good. <laughs> um, looks like you're all out of gas, Runt. My leg. I can't move my leg. My leg. <laughs> that Sponge, like, just so reminds me of that SpongeBob character. Uh, Charles and Sherry, why did you? I'm sorry, Charles just ran off, or just went off flying. When you can't walk on your own, I'll be your legs. I'll be your wings. The two of us will always be together forever. <clears throat> um, here we go, Wendy. Ooh, that that fucking headbutt. Your era is long over, you damn relic. It's about time you repent for what you did to the first and go back to the hell where you belong. Mary, Juvia, this first step is, yeah, it's the first step to a brighter future. Sky Dragon's Crushing Fang, Ice Devil's Xeroth Longsword, Sigainus Bladed Ice Wings, alright. Yeah, I feel like all these dudes are going to get one-shotted. Maguity Water, Lightning Dragon's Jaw. Yeah, they probably did get one shot. I'm assuming they did. Um, who knows? They might not be down, but whatever. The light of the seven stars shall be your judge. I know your history all too well. Simon. Yes, this is Simon, your former comrade who you, whom you betrayed and murdered. You cannot possibly attack. Or do you wish to kill Simon once more? It's not fucking Simon, so you, you can't use the same trick fucking twice. Um, oh, shit. All right, Kagura. This abomination is not my brother. Do it, Jalal. That's a little bit of development for Kagura, too. Uh, Grand Chariot. And you are fucked, Nightheart. Yeah. Get fucking wrecked, dude. Sit down. Um, yeah, so everyone is basically defeated. I could tell that's already going to cause a shitstorm with the internet. And like, um, all the Reddit stuff, pages and shit like that. People are going to have a problem with all those one shots. Uh, what a beautiful Scarlet Sky. Holy shit, Urza looks absolutely decimated. Like, she is fucking destroyed. Um, I've made up my mind. I'm going to go bring the pain to that bastard coming from the east. You mean that August guy? I'm going too. Don't forget me. I cannot agree to this. I can't just sit around. You expect me to just wait here for the enemy to waltz in and go, on go to town on us? We're talking about the most powerful member of the Spring and Twelve here. You are mistaken. Uh, it could be more accurate to say that he is the strongest individual. Speaking of the Spring and Twelve, how, did you, how the hell did you escape from your cell? I let her out. <laughs> Why? She's not a bad person, so I figured what's the harm. Strongest individual, what do you mean by that? It appears all of you have gotten the wrong idea. While it is true that August could be called the strongest among us, there is one other who shares the same title. If August is the strongest man, then she is the strongest woman. Eileen Belserion, Bel the one who carries the Machia, the Scarlet Despair. Alvarez Empire Spring and Twelve Eileen Belserion. 
To be continued to chapter 484, The Monster is 6. Dude, I am hyped as fucked. As fucked. Yeah, as fuck. Sorry. Like I said, I don't speak English. Um, someone in the comments in my last reaction said, dude, like, what if she's, a, what if Urza's mom is a sprint in 12? And I was like, dude, that would be fucking awesome if she was. And I am that much more excited to find out that she is a sprint in 12. Dude, that is so fucking cool. Um, first of all, there's no way in hell Urza is going to be able to take her on. Like, Urza is literally on death's door. Like, that's what it looks like. Um, so, like... Guild Arts, where the fuck are you? Um, I don't know. Um, but definitely not Urza. Like, there's no way in hell Urza is going to be able to take her on. But it is going to be interesting because Urza does need to see her mother. Because I'm assuming she hasn't seen her in a long fucking time. So she, she does need to see her. But I don't think she's going to fight her anyway in hell. Um, there's, just no, it, there's just no scenario that I can think of that Urza is going to be able to get up and fucking fight her. Unless... Uh, Mashima pulls the ultimate fucking bullshit. I don't think he's gonna do that though. Um, I thought it was an okay chapter. Um, the one shots are obviously a fucking problem, but um, honestly, I don't give a fuck about Keith or Izel getting one shot. Them is just like whatever. Like I, I obviously don't care about them. Um, Zancro, he was fighting Meredith to begin with, so like I wasn't really expecting much from that fight. But like Hades and Or, I'm a little bit more iffy on that, about them getting one-shotted. Because I was expecting that to be more of a fight. But then again, I know I said it like a couple reactions ago. I never really expected this to be dragged out for too long. Uh, because it's not really those characters, you know. It's not really Hades and it's not really Or. Like it's just, you know... Nine Hearts magic that's bringing them back. So it's not actually really them. So you could make that argument if you want, if you're trying to defend it and like, yeah, if you're trying to defend the one shots, you can't, you could say that it's not actually them, but I don't know, man. It's, it's tricky. Um, Federico loves its one shots. So I don't know. In that aspect, the chapter was a little disappointing for me because even if it's not really them i still wanted to see them go at it a little bit more especially like loxus and hades i wanted to see them definitely go at it but um yeah i don't know and then with fucking nightheart being one-shotted um i didn't really expect him to be much of a threat at all once his historia magic was done like once that historia is taken away from him i feel like underneath that is a pretty fucking weak mage like in terms of like close combat he i would think i would assume that he's pretty weak because his magic is definitely more of like a range attack so and he has to be like at a distance which is why he's at a distance so like from the start i basically knew once it once that spell was over and done with he would be absolutely nothing and he would get wrecked so easily like i knew that was gonna happen um, so, but yeah, Jalaw fucking, I, I'm pretty sure that is Jalaw's most powerful spell anyway, but yeah, he absolutely destroyed fucking Nineheart. Uh, but yeah, besides that, I thought it was an okay chapter, um, I liked seeing Grace development, um, it was really cool. Uh, Kagura also developed, she moved past, um, you know, she took down her brother, her, you know, her brother, and she used Forgiven Jalal, which is pretty cool. So, um, development for those two characters. Um, seeing Lady Eileen, dude, it's fucking hype, but she's fucking gorgeous. Um, so that's my live reaction. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys next time for Lady Eileen hype.